Hi, I'm Gabby from Ray Studios, and today I'm going to be reviewing the Sony 28mm f2. Now, this is one of my favorite lenses of all times, of any brand, of any camera ever. I know this is only for Sony, but anyway, this is like, I just wanted to tell you how much I love this lens. I've been using this uh, on my A7R Mark II full frame, and I've been also loving it, the results, when I mounted on the Sony A6300. So in both cameras, they give me a completely different kind of focal range, but in both cameras it works excellent. So you can see how small it is. It comes with a little lens hood as you buy it. And you can see how small it is. Even with the lens hood, it's, it's tiny. It is so small for a full frame lens with a fast aperture of f2. This is really tiny, uh, but don't get fooled by the size. It performs really good. It's very sharp. On my A7R Mark II, um, it have a little bit of spiral distortion. It's not alarming, it's not crazy, but it's there, but very easily correctable on Lightroom. And the distortion tends to just go away when I mount it on the A6300. So in the crop sensor, the distortion is less. Chromatic aberration is a bit of an issue when you shoot wide open on this lens, but again, when you mount it on the A6300, chromatic aberration seems to like very little, even wide open. So it is a very versatile lens, you can mount it on either camera. And the strongest point of this lens is um, it's gonna be the sharpness. You can see here on the test chart how sharp this is. It's Trigaros F2. It's still down to F2.8 and you pretty much are getting perfect sharpness. Edge to edge is really, really good. Um, even when you mount it on an A6300, sharpness is mm, Equally good, it's not even better. It's like all the little defects that happen on the A7R Mark II get corrected when you mount it on the A6300. That being said, on a crop sensor, it's not a 28 millimeter, it's more like a 42, 43. But if you think about it, and if you use it for video, like many times I do, when you shoot in Super 35, 28 millimeters is a very standard kind of lens for video. It's quite normal, like many movies are shot in Super 35 and 28 millimeters. So, it is a fantastic lens, versatile. Uh, it basically can do pictures on either camera, either crop or full frame. And on top of that, it's quite good for video. Now, autofocus is not the best. It works well, but it's not the fastest. It's not gonna get focus, grab focus very fast, but it works, it works relatively well. As a matter of fact, I've been using this lens for most of my videos, even my YouTube videos, if, if you check the description on all my videos, it will say which lens I'm using, and you will see that this is by far the most used lens that, that I've been using uh, no, most of my videos. So, uh, fantastic lens, and I hope you like this review. This was, it was a short one, by the way. I wanted to keep it short and to the point. This is an excellent value. It's not the cheapest one, but it's relatively affordable. It's an F lens, it's not G, G, N, or size or anything but it performs like if it were and it's incredible value i totally recommend this lens if you're on a budget this is not too expensive buy this lens you won't regret it either system and if another advantage is if you have isis 300 or a crop sensor sony and you're planning to upgrade to full frame well this is a lens to get because when you're great you already have the full frame lens to go with or if you're shooting on full frame and for some reason like me you have also a crop sensor but you can use the lens on both cameras very versatile. Hope you like this video, if you like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, click the little subscribe button somewhere right in there, that red button, yeah, you know which one. Make sure you click that button, subscribe to my channel, stay tuned for more videos, and um, till next time.